you get violated initially when you get raped and then you go through the second violation which is all of the court staff everything with the police it's been a long almost four years since reporting him um, and I still don't really feel like I've got justice. Four years, that's a long time between reporting these incidents and you getting some form of closure. Mm -hmm. What have those four years been like for you? The thing with trauma is it will always catch up with you. It did catch up with me. It made me really unwell. It just felt like every single day you'd wake up in the morning and you'd think about it or something would happen, you'd read something in the news and it would trigger you. And I think it's a common thing. I got diagnosed with complex post-traumatic stress disorder. Had to leave a job that I loved. I've been unable to get involved with anybody romantically. I don't want to bring anyone into this mess. In my family, we've had to put so much on hold. It's just taken so much away from me. How many times was this case delayed? I lost count of how many times it was delayed. The anxiety would set in so badly over waiting for these court dates and almost getting so hyped up that this nightmare would finally be over, only for them to say that something had happened. On one of the occasions where the jury was panelled, my abuser had a fallout with his lawyer. The procurator fiscal called and they said there's been a fallout on the Friday and we can't go ahead with the trial on the Monday. And it, it just was so disappointing. You think, could there not have been a duty solicitor there? Could there not have been somebody to pick up the case? And it just felt like I was being played with. It felt like a game of cat and mouse. So much of my life, I feel I've wasted just crying in bed, <laughs> frantically checking emails for updates, spending a lot of time in police stations, giving a lot of personal information and photographs and just feeling like I was constantly being scrutinised. The delays of the last couple of years have been blamed a lot on COVID. What would you say to that? Whilst it's been exacerbated by COVID, it's not the sole reason. I don't think that the courts were quick enough to adapt to COVID. And whilst I'm not angry at anybody at the Procurator Fiscal, I do think that it's very easy for them to disassociate with how much of an impact this actually has on victims. I can't imagine how difficult this would have been if I had children to look after. I really can't imagine how difficult this would have been if I'd gone through this process only for it to result in not proven. Thankfully, it didn't have to go to trial for you in the end. Mm -hmm. When you heard that your attacker had pleaded guilty, what? was your first reaction? Just complete shock. It was like a bittersweet moment because I was so happy that I didn't have to put my loved ones through a trial. They'd already been through enough. And I was so relieved that I didn't have to stand in front of a defence lawyer and have like everything about my life exposed. But it also made me think, why did I have to wait almost four years for the fiscal to put a plea bargain on the table that he would actually agree to? The trauma that I've experienced from the justice system, I would say, is on par, if not worse, than the initial trauma I experienced from him. What does need to be done? I don't know whether it's out with the realms of possibility to consider weekend courts. They're not realising that this affects us 24 hours a day. It keeps us up at night. Should we not be looking at cleaning this backlog, making the streets safer, holding perpetrators accountable, and also giving survivors justice? I guess I've been quite lucky that my perpetrator pled guilty, but the procurator fiscal was expecting me to go in and talk about a rape that happened seven years ago. You try and not remember things, but then you're forced to try and remember all these intricate details because you know that if you're cross-examined, a defence lawyer is going to try really hard to pick up on those small details. And in the lead-up to court, it just really felt like I was prepping for an exam. Do you feel let down by the justice system? I feel like I am so relieved that I got the verdict that I said to get. 
but I feel let down that so much of my life has been affected by the justice system. And it feels like they've kind of washed their hands now. It's obviously not their responsibility to look after people post-trial, and I understand that. But I do feel that there's been very little regard for how I might feel. It's really important that we have access to therapy, victim support. Rape crisis have picked up a lot of the tab and a lot of the slack, but their resources are really limited as well. Do you feel you have closure? No. Even with the guilty plea, it doesn't feel like the chapter's closed. It feels like the healing process is only just beginning. I can't forget how much time has been taken away from, from periods of my life which should have been filled with so much joy and that's just been taken away while I've been recovering from trauma. I hope that I'll be able to engage in a lot of activism and hopefully change the system because that, that seems to be the one thing that helps is knowing that it can potentially help somebody else.